All right, we're going to use some pre-made QGIS layout template files in order to get started very quickly with this. So I've got a blank, you know, sort of a new project here. I've added in OpenStreetMap data and this image from Harry Stranger, our Airbus image of a SpaceX uh, site in Los Angeles. So I've got, you know, just OpenStreetMap just so I can see what's going on. And then we've got this cool image and it's got a a rocket there on the on the launching pad and we're going to turn this into a piece of paper put it on you know add some titles and, and text and north arrow and things like that in order to dress it up so to do that we can go to project and then the layout manager and then under you know this empty layout section choose specific it's going to bring you to a specific template file that you can use go to the the browse button find it on wherever you downloaded it um, so you got that out of the Udemy course in the resources section, saved it somewhere, go find it, and then open it up. I'm going to use the letter-sized landscape, which I think is appropriate for this, and uh, you know something that's easily printable at home. Um, once I've, I've dialed it in, I'll hit Create, and it's going to name it what I have already named it, uh, letter landscape, that makes sense. And we get this, right? So we've got this letter-sized piece of paper with a title and some text and a north arrow and something to get you started. In order to get to the map that you have, uh, that you're using the other screen, click on map one and then click this button, the set map extent to match main canvas extent. That will zoom you to wherever you were. Now, you know, we can adjust this a little bit, sort of get that in the middle. I'm going to zoom in with the scale bar here and the main properties. I'm going to Set this to 5,000, see where that takes me. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to redraw. That's better. I might go in a little bit more. And that kind of captures everything. So now I can put, you know, add in the title, I'll double click this and, um, you know, space X might add the date or something, a little context. And now I've got something on a nice piece of paper, something a little more professional. I can now go to export as image and set that as a JPEG or a PNG, or whatever, or even a, a, a TIFF file, right? In which the coordinates of the earth are embedded into the document. So you can pop that right up into SOAR or it'll work in GIS systems and things like that. You can also export as a PDF. Um, you all know what a PDF is. So... That's the drill. Easy way to get started. Next lesson, we're going to talk about how to build a custom one if you, if you need something else. But we give you, I give you some to start with so you can kind of get going quickly and, uh, and get going uh, on that. So there you go. Enjoy.